You know, all of us have scrap lumber laying around our shop that has grain that's too cool to throw away, but it's too small to really think of anything practical to make out of it. Well, what if I was to tell you we could make this attractive modern gift box from a piece of lumber that's 24 inches long, three and a half inches wide, and three quarters of an inch thick. Let's get started. Two of my favorite features to this little box are that the lumber is properly proportioned to the scale of the project. You could imagine that this would look really clumsy and clunky if we used three quarter inch lumber for the sides of this box. My other favorite feature is this little book match top. We take advantage of this attractive grain. And the way you do book matching is that when you slice a piece of wood in two, you open it up like a book and then you get this complementary grain pattern. How do you achieve those things? We do it by resawing on the bandsaw. Let me show you how we do that. Now resawing is simply cutting a piece of wood in half the skinny way. So you're getting two thinner pieces of wood. To do that, it's best to do it on a bandsaw. The bandsaw should be equipped with a blade that's wide enough for the task. Here we have a half inch wide blade, but wider is always better. So the widest you can get is, the, is better. We also need a fence, some kind of fence to guide it as we're cutting the pieces in two. Now, we did an in-depth video on resawing that you can find in the video links in the description below. Now, I'm going to be cutting this three-quarter of an inch thick piece of wood down in half, so that's about three-eighths of an inch. It doesn't need to be precisely accurate because we're going to be surfacing it smooth on a drum sander after we sand it. So, now that we've cut these pieces roughly to three-eighths of an inch thick, we need to remove the saw marks and get them to a consistent thickness. We're going to aim for a quarter inch. Perfect tool for that is this drum sander. It works like a surface planer and you can adjust it. Uh, you don't want to take off more than about a sixty-fourth of an inch. It's also got a feed belt here and you can adjust the, the speed with which you are removing that material. I like to hook it up to a dust collector and let me show you how this works. So now that the pieces are smooth, I've cut the pieces that will form the book match top. I've also cut a plug for the bottom, for, for underneath the lid, and then a piece for the bottom. Now this bottom is captured in an eighth inch deep by quarter inch wide groove. And I'm going to form that next on the table saw by setting up those dimensions with a couple of cuts here. Let me show you how I do that. Now in order to form those grooves, I set the blade at eighth inch above the tabletop and I set the fence at a quarter inch from the edge of the saw blade. Then I'm going to plow grooves in both pieces, move the fence over a little bit, plow another set of grooves, test the fit on the bottom and continue doing that until I've got a proper fit. Now that I've got the grooves plowed into the sides and the ends, I need to rip them to two inches wide. Now it's time to cut the 45 degree angles for the box corners. We do that on a cross cut sled. We have it set to 45 degrees. We trim one end and then we drop this stop down. This is set for the long sides. Once we get those cut, we'll reset it for the short sides and we'll be ready to move on.
So we cut a couple of pieces off of the resawn stock, and that allows us to lay up a book match top. In order to get a good glue joint here, I need to put a thin coat of glue on both pieces, stick it in here, clamp it up, and let the glue cure. Now we're going to assemble the sides. We're going to use masking tape as a clamp because we need to roll this up and put the bottom in at the same time. The way you do that is you align your pieces as you wish them to be, making sure the edges of, of the miters are nice and tight. Put glue into the miters. We're not going to glue the bottom in. It's going to float in there. It's just going to stay free. And then put the bottom in and start to roll it up. If your corners aren't tight enough for you, you can use a band clamp to snug things up. Okay. Now as the glue cures, you can move on to the last few steps. Take your book match top, cut it to size, get the plug, cut that to size. You can glue them together and make sure they uh, are properly fit. Some final sanding, and we also put a couple of feet on the bottom of it. So that's just it. A cool little box like this from a piece of scrap lumber that you might have wanted to throw away. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. Keep on making sawdust.